What's up guys? So I wanted to make this video. I'm obviously driving, so I'm doing this on the go. I know earlier this week I had mentioned that I'm going to be doing a video on the Wim Hof breathing method as a treatment for depression. And I will still be doing that, but I wanted to get this information out sooner rather than later, so at least there's some of it here. Now, essentially what it is, you can search Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, breathing method on YouTube. There's a lot of videos, I'll show you how to do it. So what you do, you take 30 really deep breaths, you expand your diaphragm first, then your chest, and even think about then sending the air into your brain. So you imagine that it's going all the way up. Now when you exhale, technically you're exhaling about 50 to 75%. The way Wim says it in his, whenever he's showing someone or doing it with someone is fully in, meaning breathe fully in and letting go. So you're letting it go. You're not trying to literally puke the air out of your lungs. You're just kind of, you this 30 times. So what this does is it over-oxygenates the blood. Your O2 levels go up dramatically. The carbon dioxide in the blood, CO2 levels are diminished. Your blood becomes alkaline as opposed to acidic, which is better for your all physio overall physiology. I'm not a scientist, I can't completely explain why. We all kind of know that uh, muscle soreness is the buildup of lactic acid. That would be acidic, that's a negative consequence. Um, so anyway, after you've done 30 deep breaths, on your final exhalation, you hold your breath. And because you've taken in so much oxygen, you can hold your breath a great deal longer than you normally would be able to. Um, I've been doing this, like I said, for almost a year. So it's four rounds of this, 30 breaths, uh, then retention, holding it. Then you do another and another, so four total rounds. The first time, I usually go about, hold it for about a minute, minute and 15 usually. Uh, then like a minute and 30-ish, a minute 45. Usually my last round's about two minutes. Some people can go even longer. Um, starting out, I didn't start out that way. The first time I ever did it, I only hold my breath. I was able to hold my breath for about 40 seconds, which you could do without deep breathing, really. But part of it is you kind of, uh, you want to take in air before you actually need it because you're just conditioned to be like, you should be breathing right now. <laughs> so you kind of get scared. Um, anyway, the science behind all of this and taking in so much oxygen and then retaining the breath, because you're holding your breath and you're depriving your body of oxygen, you end up secreting a controlled amount of adrenaline. Now, you don't feel it. It's not like you're gonna do this and hold your breath and feel like amped up and shaky and you know, that normal feeling when you're scared or you know, in danger kind of thing. It's not that type of feeling. But the, the adrenaline is released in a controlled way because your body's being deprived of oxygen. So the primitive brain, uh, I wanna say the amygdala, I know it's referred to as the lizard brain, but don't take my terms completely to heart if you want the science. Again, look up Wim Hof, uh, there's articles online, etc., etc. Anyway, your body knows it's being deprived of oxygen, and your primitive brain secretes the adrenaline because it's like, oh, we must be in danger, we're not breathing. But you're doing this on purpose, so you end up feeling, you're gonna feel loose in the body even as you're taking in the air, you will feel lightheaded. It's not dangerous. Um, I recommend doing this lying down. You can do it sitting up. I find I get more air in lying down. I find it to be just more comfortable overall. Anyway, your body believes it's in danger. It's a controlled amount of adrenaline. And then after your retention, um, you're holding your breath. When you feel like, all right, I absolutely need to breathe, you take in one, one really, like, another really deep inhalation. So like, and then you hold it and squeeze your head, is how Wim puts it, for about 10, 15 seconds. And then once you've done the 10, 15 seconds of holding it, squeezing your head, you do another round. It's recommended to do four rounds a day. Um, also, the ideal conditions, uh, the way they say it, is in the morning before you've eaten. I do it first thing in the morning. 
I've also been doing it a second time, uh, another full session, four rounds again, before I go into work. And I started doing that because I had a lot of external stress going on um, in my private life, in my you know, professional life, however you'd like to put it nicely. And I felt myself becoming depressed. So, you know, I was handling it with other things as well. It's not only this method. I, you know, I very much encourage you to express your feelings, all those things, but that's another video. Um, but I was looking for a way to, you know, manage, mitigate this depression that was coming about. And I watched an interview with Wim, and the guy had asked him, because this is used for, usually you hear about it being used for physical ailments as opposed to psychological, but it's used for a little bit of just about anything that's bothering you because even with psychological uh, issues, there are physiological things happening, your neurotransmitters being off balance, that sort of thing, brain chemistry. Um, so, anyway, the guy asked Wim, how often would you recommend someone do this method? And his response was, as often as they feel they need to. So when I watched that interview, I was like, well, I'm not feeling great, so another round clearly isn't going to hurt me if he says he can do it more than once. And that was, I remember because it was New Year's Day, I had to work. It was, I work at a dog daycare. It's 50 dogs, dogs, 50 dogs. And I had to be alone with them for four hours, so quite a bit of an undertaking. I was, like I said, already a little bit depressed, not happy that I was working on a holiday, I was not excited to be having to watch 50 dogs by myself, though I've done it before, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. And anyway, so that was the first of the month. We are now on the 12th of the month. And I, it's a world of difference. And for 12 days, going from being pretty significantly depressed to feeling really good, you know guys, I've been doing this for a long time in terms of treating or dealing with kind of managing my depression, anxiety, um, bipolar disorder, I do have, that's a whole, again, I have it, but I don't fit the textbook definition, blah, 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 we get into that later, there's other videos on that, um, but I've been dealing with all of this, I started to deal with depression at 13 years old, in terms of formally trying to address it, like, really hardcore, I'd read a few things as a teenager, but when I was 17 is when I went into formal treatment, and from 24 years old until now, I'm going to be 33 in a month. I've always been consistently in therapy and um, seeing my psychiatrist. I've been to uh, support groups in person and online. I've read books. My point being with all this, I've done a lot of things, and nothing I've done, this is not an exaggeration or hyperbole, nothing I've done has been this effective this quickly. So I highly recommend this if you are experiencing depression uh, or anxiety, or really even if you just want to feel better in general. You know, we all have stress. That's the way it is. We're, we're human. No matter who you are, you're going to have stressors. This guy is going to yeah, just not look and almost get over and hit me. That's awesome. <laughs> But also, like I said, it's good for physiological issues, so if you have uh, you know, issues with muscle pain or anything like that, also great to try. But yeah, I can't endorse this enough, guys. Um, go out, try it. Like I said, I, will, I may do another video considering, I don't know, I covered most of what I'd probably say in a, in a video anyway. But anyway, try the Wim Hof method, the Wim Hof breathing method. You can look it up on YouTube. There are guided videos that will take you through it. So they do the 30 breaths with you, wish you, with you. Do the retention. There's a timer on the screen to show you how long you're holding your breath. Uh, my advice on that: don't sit there and look at the timer because it's like anything else. If you constantly think about, oh, when can I stop? You're not going to go as long. Just kind of go with the flow. Close your eyes. You know, have your phone or your whatever your computer in front of you and. When you feel like you just need to breathe or you're getting to that point, then you can look and see how long it's been. Uh, it's my advice anyway, it's what works best for me. And you know, even if you just try doing simply one round, I know four rounds seems like a lot, it takes about 20 minutes total to do four rounds. 
But if you do one just to see how it makes you feel, it's literally five minutes of your life. Five minutes. So, you know, whether you're feeling bad a little bit or a lot, and I've been severely depressed and I've watched things where it's like, oh yeah, well, maybe it works for that guy, but that's a different story. No, I, you know, definitely five minutes of your life, the way I would think of it is, all right, I may experience some discomfort for five minutes, but the payoff, at least based on what I'm being told, is gonna to be huge. And let's say that for whatever reason you didn't feel that it was effective, you wasted five minutes, big deal. So, check it out guys. Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, breathing method. Follow him on uh, Instagram as well. I think it's simply Wim Hof, it might be under Iceman. He does a lot of uh, cold exposure therapy, or cold exposure, I don't know, experiments. He's been submerged in ice for like two hours and his core body temperature doesn't drop, crazy stuff. Anyway, check it out, try it. This is endorsed by Out of the Shadows, and uh, let me know how it goes. So until later, my friends, be well.